Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has added Jamaica to its travel advisory list because of the Zika virus. Last week, one case of Zikbi was confirmed in Portmore St. Catherine involving a four-year-old child. The police have charged 34-year-old St. Anne Fama David Jones for obtaining a tax registration number using another person's name. Jones has been charged with uttering a forged document and conspiracy to defraud. The Jamaica Defense Force has called off its search following reports that an aircraft crashed off the coast of St. Elizabeth on Wednesday afternoon. The Electoral Commission of Jamaica says it's taking serious steps to ensure no dual citizen is elected to Parliament in the February 25 election. ECJ member Justice Kyle Harrison says for the first time, candidates will be required to sign a citizenship declaration form. In sports, Brian Lara's struggles with the bat continued while former West Indies teammate Fidel Edwards bowled a poor final over as the Leo Lions went down by four wickets to the Virgo Super Kings in the Masters Champion League in the United Arab Emirates today. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be mainly sunny, the afternoon will be partly cloudy. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.